Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night time. As much respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes, there is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the great. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Well, there have been a lot of seminal UFC moments inside the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight. Should be a good one. Who gets that shining moment in the world's greatest arena? I experienced it. I know how it feels. You walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Looking for the counter right now, no good. Well, the hands are up, but the double jab gets through. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Beautiful defense, nice block. Oh, man, both of these guys can really take a shot. Straight punch is true. to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Back and forth we go. That was a beautiful head kick. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Right on the button.
Missed with that right hand. That's good defense to block that punch. We march on three minutes to go. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches there. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Oh, he rips the body shot there. Oh, strike lands cleanly there, champ. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fight. Oh! oh, this could just about do it. Oh! Beautiful diving strike lands. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. The crowd always laughs when they go north-south, DC. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Two minutes now to go in round one. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. When the opponent turns to the opposite side, he can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the pitch. Uh, this is where you don't want to be this. He's got to start throwing now. Oh, his right eye keeps taking damage. Looking pretty swollen now. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. They're so evenly matched, they're going tit for tat. Nice left hand. One minute here to go round one. Beautiful shot to the leg. Well, not goes down again. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Went for the inside leg kick. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, connects with the one-two. Final seconds of the round. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there, and not going to help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. You got clipped. You were wobbled, but you're tough. We've trained for this before. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. All right, let's get to round two. That's a great kick landing there. Oh, nicely done to block the strike and counter with the jab. Big shot on the feet. Oh, big diving punch to the head. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, right into Mount. Working off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Big ground and pound. That's a heck of a strike to land from bottom position. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, big pop 
from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how, how skilled both of these men are. And the strike lands clean. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. His nose is all crooked, it's all beat up, it's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. Big, big strikes continue to land. Oh my goodness, what a fight. So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after. <laughs> The official decision, it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at one minute, 50 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. All right, so heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite at heavyweight. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is so 